Well, hi there, my YouTube beautiful family. How is everybody today? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Um, I have been really, really busy. <laughs> anyway, first off, let's let's do some. Uh, hi, I'm Lisa, <laughs> and welcome to my page. I also go by Blue Grandma, or Blue Grandma sixty four, and. Uh, Anyway, I, I here on my channel, we do just about whatever we want to, right? Um, whether it be reborn dolls or just chit chat and have coffee or show some Timu hauls or some whatever. We just have fun. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you are new to my channel, <laughs> you guys are in for some fun. And some crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm a little nuts though, but that's okay. That's what makes me Lisa. <laughs> yes, my name is Lisa. And uh, if you are not new to my channel and you are one of my subscribers, hey family, how are you? And it's so good to see you again. And thank you so much for, for following me. It means the world to me. Um, you guys, we're getting closer. We're building up. Um, <laughs> So I'm trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark. And, you know, if you guys share my video, it would really, really help me. And I have got, I have got a big box that I have been adding to this box. Um, and I'm just going to keep adding to the box until I reach the 500 subscriber mark before I do the giveaway. So uh, the sooner we get to that 500, the sooner someone, some lucky subscriber out there, is going to have a big box of goodies. Fun stuff. You're gonna love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, so yeah, you're probably wondering what's up with this. So, you guys know what my hair looks like, right? You've been with me a while. Well, the, the subscribers have been with me a while. You know <laughs> all the crap I've done to my hair from bleaching it to a white yellow color then dyeing it dark and then it faded so then i went and i got gray dye and i did that and then it, it didn't do anything at all so i picked up another kind of a to lighten it so i got another dye and or uh, kind of a bleach stuff and i put it on my hair and I'm trying to get that anyway it was horrible horrible and so i got one more dye and put it on my hair and my hair has just been breaking off something horrible. I mean, and I, I I cannot believe I have done so much damage to my hair. So I'm doing a hot oil treatment right now. So we're gonna see how that works. Maybe that'll give some life to my hair. Maybe. I'm hoping. And so I gotta show you. <laughs> check that out. Yeah, I got one pinky over here and all these are off. Okay, so the story with the nails. Got to tell you that too. Um, so I started making reborn dolls. and But I didn't want to buy a sculpt and paint it, you know, until I actually had some practice. You know, I wanted to practice and try to better myself. And so uh, my first doll... I sent off to a very special lady. Uh, she means the world to me, and I have never met her, uh, but she is a subscriber. And I, she's not just a subscriber anymore. She is a very good friend, and I love her dearly. And uh, Dee, you mean the world to me. You really do, and I think you're a sweetheart. So anyway, um, back to the doll. So I finished the doll, and uh, I wanted to give my doll that I made my very first one uh, to someone who just means a really lot to me, you know, that touched my heart and D touched my heart. And so I sent that to her. So if you want to see the doll and the big box opening that I sent, um, please check out her channel. It is uh, the baby, just type in at the baby patch so when you go into YouTube, you got the search bar on YouTube, type in the at sign, the baby patch, 
all one word. It'll take you right to her channel. And uh, check out the box that I sent her and the baby that I made. Um, now I have finished my second reborn and the whole thing with the nails. So what I had been doing for the first two dolls, the one that I sent to Dee and the one that I'm sending to another friend, yes, Donna, DJ, <laughs> um, Donna, Donna Jean, and uh, her channel is Hey It's Little Jeannie, and she is a very, very sweet lady. I love her, and uh, she was one of, uh, she was my second collaboration that I had on YouTube with a Timu Hall. And we have just, uh, we just clicked. We got along great. Uh, we have so much in common. I, I, I call her my twin. She's, she doesn't look anything like me, but um, we have so much in common. It's just, it's crazy. <laughs> We're both married to a man named Rich, you know, and yeah, it, we just are, are, it's weird. It's kind of weird, but it's awesome. And so, yeah, I sent one, I mailed it off today. Um, I couldn't take a video of it because I don't want her to see it yet. <laughs> well, she's seen the doll. I sent her a picture of the doll, but I didn't want her to see the the box of goodies that I got for her. And um, she's going to love it. I know she's, she's going to love it. And I hope you guys check it out. And I will share it as well. So when she gets it and she will videotape it and she'll post it and I will share it. And, um, yeah, so check her out as well. And in, in the comments, um, when you're done watching this video, if you, if you click on more, um, you'll see in there some of my favorite people and their, their, um, their YouTube channels in there. So please check on that. And I'm going to show you a picture of, I can show you a picture of the doll that I done. I did not, like I said, I didn't do a video of the, of me putting the box together because I don't want to post it and spoil her surprise. But um, I will show you the picture of the baby that I made. Come on, if my, I'm trying to pull it up on my tablet. Come on. Okay. So that is the baby. Sorry about the glare. Yeah. So anyway, I have mailed this off today and it will go to DJ, my friend DJ, uh, Donna Jean, and her channel is Hey It's Little Jeannie. And I will put her uh, information in the comments as well. So that way, um, and I will, I'll let you guys know when she posts that video as well. So uh, that way you're informed and you can go in there and watch it. And please subscribe to her channel. She's so awesome. You'll love her. She's way awesome. Um, and then, hang on there. I, I, I'm just going to grab this right, just right here. Okay, hang on. So I'm working on the third. This is my third final freebie doll. <laughs> um, this is actually going to someone that I care deeply about. And, uh, it's another Donna. <laughs> yes, another Donna. Um, this Donna is known as Halls and More. Um, or you can find her also uh, if, on the search bar in YouTube if you go the at sign and then type in um, Nona's, like Donna's except with an N instead of a D. Nona's Nursery 00. zero. And that will take you to her YouTube channel. Uh, when I very first started my channel, I, I mean, I was brand new. I think I had like maybe 20 subscribers. And um, I was kind of having a hard time getting going. And so she contacted me and she wanted to help me out and help me grow my, my channel and wanted to do a collab because that gives you, helps you going. And so I owe my channel actually to her for getting me going and Donna I love you I really do you're a sweet sweet friend and you mean the world to me anyway um so this is what I'm making for her 
and I haven't got very far. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't that look creepy? Ooh. Anyway, um, she wants a little girl. So this will be the doll that I'm painting for her. I absolutely adore these hands. Aren't those precious? Oh my goodness, I, just, I love the hands on this doll. Um, this hand here, it's a little fist, a little pinky sticking out there. Um, here's the little feet. Check out those little toes, aren't those cute? <laughs> oh my goodness, and chunky little thighs. And then this here, I love this little foot because he's got the little toe sticking out there. <laughs> Is that not just adorable? Oh my gosh, I love it, love it. But anyway, so um, this is actually a sculpt. There's a difference. All right, um, so the first two dolls that I did, all right, um, I wasn't, I wasn't very, I didn't think I could, I wasn't sure if I could do it, let's put it that way. And so when I wanted to try, and so I ordered a doll off of Timu. And well, they come and, you know, they got the cloth body, but inside it's just stuffing and the stuffing isn't even soft. It's like stuffing that you would stuff a cushion in a couch, you know, that kind of stuffing. And so I took that all out of there and then I took acetone and removed all the paint, all the paint. And so when I did that, I was using this hand. <laughs> well, acetone and nails just don't mix. So you can tell which hand I was using. And I, I, even when I drink, I do the pinky thing. And so <laughs> when I was using cotton ball to get all the, the red off of it, you know, the pink and all the color off of the the doll that I was working on for DJ. Yeah, well, acetone took my nails. But these are so fresh that they are stuck on. And I don't want to soak them off. I have more that'll match here. I just haven't done it yet. I don't know if I should because, well, I guess I can because I don't need acetone on this one. Uh, this is an actual sculpt. Uh, this is called the Teddy Sculpt. Uh, if you, if anybody that's watching this is interested in a reborn doll and would like to order one from me, then please just go ahead and send me an email. And my email is bluegrandma64 at gmail.com. Um, if you want a, a certain sculpted doll, you know, I, the price will, will definitely vary from if you want you know, what kind of doll, sculpted doll you, you want. Um, if you just want me to uh, make the doll for you and, you know, give you the doll back. Or, you know, if you want a big, I make big, beautiful box openings. They're gorgeous. And so watch D on uh, the baby patch. You'll see my box openings. And so, you know, if somebody wants a big box opening, you know, for their YouTube channel or something, or uh, if they're going to gift it to somebody, I can make a beautiful, beautiful box for them. Um, so just let me know and I'll be happy to do one for you and we'll discuss the price at the time. But um, yeah, I, I, the prices will be lower because I am a new artist and I'm, you know, I'm just getting going here and it'll probably be a boo-boo baby. <laughs> I probably will guarantee it'll be a boo-boo baby in some way. You know, there'll be one little thing that make you yeah. People are so picky. <laughs> but anyway, just let me know. So, but we've been here for 14 minutes now. And I think it's time for me to take off my, my thing, my, my hot oil treatment. So, shall we see how it did? Okay, let's see how well that hot oil treatment did. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> nice.
Not a hot oil treatment at all. Nope. It is Lisa had her hair cut off. Yes, I did. It's sassy now. I am sassy. <laughs> now I had that, that thing over my head. And now I got pieces sticking out all over the place. Anyway, um, so this side is super short. Not super short, but short. But I'm wanted this side long. And then, you know, then I can train it to kind of go this way. And it's really fun because, I mean, I can either bring it this way. I can add curl to it. I can add fluff. But I had to do this. My husband was not very happy. But, you know, I ruined my hair. What can you do? I had to cut it off. And when I went to the hairstylist today, I got to tell you about my day. Crazy day. Um, so I went to Bible study this morning. I was late. Like, almost 20 minutes late. And it's only an hour long. But anyway, I made it to the Bible study. Did that. Left there, went to a salon, asked if she could get me in, and she could get me in at noon, and it was 11. So I came home, thought, okay, I'll box up this baby for DJ and all the clothes. And so I put it all together, got the box all together. You know, I'm thinking, okay, I gotta hurry. You know, I gotta, I gotta get down my hair appointment. Anyway, I look up, and it's noon. It's like, uh oh. And I wasn't done with the box. So I got in my car, hurried up, went down there. She could still get me in, got my hair cut, came home, finished the box. I had to get all the clothes and wrap them and do all this stuff and put the box and decorate it and take it down the mailbox, drop it off. Boom. Get back home and you guys wouldn't believe my house because while I was trying to get that baby ready, I had like baby clothes everywhere and... <laughs> And little, little gadgets and gizmos and stuff that I was putting in the box. And so, yeah, it was a disaster. So I had to clean up my living room. And uh, went and laid down for a little bit. And I thought, you know, I haven't talked to my YouTube family in a while. I think I need to go out there and do that. And I have some goodies. So let's take a look at those, too. Bum, 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 bum. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Okay. So, I have a little girl coming to me. And I have a little boy. Reborns. Reborns. A girl reborn, and I have a little boy reborn. And so, uh, she'll be here Saturday. <coughs> Sorry, I swallowed one. And uh, the little boy, he is actually being painted right now. Um, he will be a cuddle baby. His head is silicone. He'll be able to take a pacifier. Um, his mouth, yeah, he can take bottle. I can't wait to get him. I'm so excited. Anyway, I guess you'd like to see what I opened, huh? <laughs> I am so scatterbrained sometimes, you guys. It's, 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 it's silly. So, for the little girl that is coming on Saturday, it's a pickle. If you don't know what a pickle is, you'll have to stay tuned for Saturday to watch. Anyway, these are Pickle's little shoes. Aren't those cute? <laughs> so, that's the first thing I got. Um... The prices change all the time. I would go and tell you how much I paid, but it really doesn't even matter how much I paid because it's going to change. So, but if you want these, these exact ones, go click on more and you'll see in there, it'll say white shoes. Click on that. It'll take you directly to Timu, directly to these boots, and it'll show you how much they are. And if you want to order them, you can order them right from there. So that's number one. Okay. Oh, I got me a shirt. Something besides baby stuff. Something for me. Something for me. Something for me. 
Yeah? I like it. And it says on there, it's hard, hard to see because it's white, but it says, it's fall, y'all. Isn't that cute? I like it. Um, I don't know what it's, you know, I'm sure it's probably made out of, you know, that stuff they make all of Timu's clothes out of. What is it? Polyester? I don't know. Anyway, I love it. It's very going to be really warm, so I hope it gets really cold really fast because I want to be able to wear it. All right, and the next thing I have here. is well some of these are so hard to open golly darn it golly darn it anyway oh you know and i don't have any earrings in so i'll just put some in i'll put that one in there and i'll show you this one close up so you can see <laughs> broomstick. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's close enough to October. Oh, by the way, you guys, I am so excited and I'm going to have my husband videotape it so I can show it on my YouTube channel. I am getting baptized on Sunday. I am so excited. I am so excited. Yes, I get baptized on Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so I was baptized when I was nine years old. And uh, I think at nine years old, you don't know. You know, you don't really know what Jesus is about. And uh, I do now. And yes, he is my Lord and Savior. Absolutely. Absolutely, he's my Lord and Savior. And... Uh, I can't wait until the day that that I can just drop to my knees and wrap my arms around his ankles and just cry and thank him for what he's done, you know. Oh, he's amazing. Okay, back to this. <laughs> this is for my little boy that's coming. Ah, check that out. Is that not adorable? It is adorbs. <laughs> that is so cute. This is warm. This is really warm. You know, this isn't for my baby. <laughs> this is not for my baby at all. This is for a real live baby. For a Weston. <laughs> this is Weston's. Yeah. Um, I have a grandson. I have lots of grandsons. Um, but. My youngest grandson, Weston, I think he's five months now. So, yes, this is little Weston's. He's going to look so cute in that. He is so adorable. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Then, I've got some something else. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. So, I've got these. I think I got two of them. Yeah. They're just, um, I wanted a little throw to put over my, my recliners. Isn't that adorable? It's not very thick, you know, I mean, it's, it's a nice, thin, kind of a lap blanket, you know, so if you get a little chill while you're sitting there watching TV, you know, you can put that over you. But it's got a farm, family farm, farm fresh. It's got pigs and cows and barns. I mean, this is so cute. This is just adorable. And I think it was only like $5. So I hope I got two of them. I got two recliners. So if I don't, I got to order another one. I think I did. That's so cute though. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And you know, I, I get these little things and then drape them over my recliner and so you can change it with the you know the holidays if you wanted to do it that way definitely go that way um this here is another little outfit for weston 
Yes, this is Weston's as well. It's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, Weston's gonna look so cute in that. <laughs> so I have 13 grandchildren, you guys. Um, so the oldest, he is in college. Um, Nick is 19. Yeah, crazy. And then my youngest grandchild is Weston. And he's, like I said, um, five months, he'll be five months on October 8th, I think. So uh, I love, I love babies and grandkids and they're the best. That's what life is all about, I think is family. Okay, now this one is for, uh, this is for my doll. <laughs> ah, isn't that funny? And then it's got a little thing here. <laughs> ah, anyway, so yes, that's, that's that one there. Um, let's see what else I got in here. I think this is it. Yes, this is it. And these are pickles. And I haven't gotten a name for her yet. I, I think I, you know, I, I've got, I just got to hold her and see her. And then I'll, then I'll know, then I'll know what to name her. Have you ever done that? You know, it's even, you know, if you, I don't know if you've got kids. Sometimes people will wait until, you know, the child's born and then, <laughs> then pick a name that way. But the little boy that's coming to me, his, his name will be Noah. So I do have his name, but I don't know what to name her yet. I was thinking something like Dee Dee. I'm thinking Dee Dee. I like that. Anyway, these are little Dee Dee shoes. <laughs> I had a friend in school named Dee Dee. Um, anyway, these are pickle shoes. Cute. I don't know if they'll fit her. They might be too small. If they are, I've got another one that'll fit, but they, those are very cute. Um, oh, there was something else. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. I need skizzers. What do I do with my skizzers? Oh, here they are. You guys are hiding my scissors from me. Knock it off. That's enough of that. No hiding stuff. Jeez. Oh. You guys, you're going to want these. You are really going to want these. These are earrings. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at those. Looks like crystal, but it's a ghost and he's got a pumpkin. Aren't those cute? <laughs> I love them. Love them, love them. Okay, so um, you guys, I'm gonna have to call it short here because I do need to get busy and I need to create a, a thing for our church, uh, for the list of ladies and anyway. Got things to do, things to do, and I gotta paint this baby, and then you know I got things, and then I got my grandson coming tomorrow, and stuff, stuff. We all have stuff, right? Um, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. You have no clue. Um, you know I, I have a hard time. I can't get out uh, and do a whole lot. I I suffer majorly from fibromyalgia. Um, not only that, but I have sciatica. I had a doctor screw up my back majorly, and I've got two spine stimulators in my back, and it still doesn't take the pain away. But what he did is I went in, um, my knee, I needed an injection in my knee because my knee gets hurting really bad, and so I'll go in and have an injection. So I went in there, and he's like, oh, well, it's not your knee, it's from your back. And it's like, but it's my knee that hurts. <laughs> my knee hurts. And he's going, yeah, but let's take x-rays of your back. 
Well, so he took x-ray. My back is so screwed up. Um, it's terrible. Yeah, I got bulge disc. I've got cyst. I've got uh, cracked one of my bird brace. And it's cracked. Um, anyway, so he says, well, we're going to give you an injection in your tailbone. All right, now you'll notice in your tailbone, okay, you have this little hole right there. Kind of, you know, if you follow the crack of your butt up right there at the end of your tailbone, if you put your finger, there's a hole in there, right? So anyway, I'm bent over the table and I'm, you know, <laughs> moon shining. <laughs> well, my husband is sitting behind me. So, you know, my ass is pointed right at him. He can see the whole thing, what's going on. So I leaned over the table and the doctor did not use a fluoroscope. He did not know where he was going with that needle. And, oh my God, sorry, Lord, for taking your name. That was the most painful thing I have ever experienced in my life. I would rather give birth 200 times than go through what he put me through. Uh, anyway, he took the needle and put it into that spot. Now, I don't have the same anatomy as most people. When I was born, I was born, so my, you, when you, your hip, you have a ball joint here and you know, you walk and it rotates, right? Well, mine was like this. And so when I'd walk, it just slide. So I had an operation when I was two years old and uh, I was in a cast from my waist clear down to my feet and my legs would be wide out like this and a bar in between them. And my mom had to put diapers up, you know, cause they left a hole in the cast where you put a diaper up in there. Well, you know how nasty that would get, you know? Oh, mom said it, it she cleaned me up the best she could, but I just was stinky. Anyway, um, but the doctor had used part of my iliac wing to create this bone right and so your iliac wings on your hips come out like this right kind of like a heart shape well the one over here on my left side he took the iliac wing and cut it out right so it's that whole shape that nice round shape is not there anymore so anyway um it kind of it's not aligned right my spine is not aligned right down there and he just assumed it was i guess and but he gave me that shot and i was screaming stop stop oh god please stop 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 and i'm just bawling and i've got black mascara just down my eyes and oh it was horrible and so he's like okay we're just gonna i'll stop for just a minute oh god Anyway, with the syringe, you push the medicine with your thumb. He couldn't get it in there. So he grabbed a hold of the syringe, used the palm of his hand, and shoved that medication into me. I don't know what kind of damage he did. My pain manager seems to think that he blew up all those nerves down in there, and they're not regenerating. They're not fixing themselves. They won't. I will live in pain for the rest of my life. And... It's just, it's a horrible thing, you know, and people look at you and think, you're fine. Why are you using a cane? I had somebody the other day that said, why are you using your cane? You having problems? It's like, honest, do you really think that I'm just using it for the fun of it? No, no. If, if people only would stop for a minute. You may look healthy, you may look fine and have a smile on your face, but you may live in so much pain and misery. But why, why, why put that face on to show the rest of the world? You don't want to do that. You put on a happy face, right? And you smile and you say, good morning, God bless you. And you know, and you, but the pain is still there. But they look at you like, why are you doing that? Why are why do you have a, a, a handicap sign in your car? You're fine. Uh, 
Anyway, I'm having a really hard time right now because there is um, someone in my, I, I won't say who, that really hurt my feelings. And she um, is supposed to be a, a Christian and you don't, you don't hurt people like that, you know? You just don't. <laughs> just be kind. Be kind to people. Love one another. You know, and if you see someone using a cane, maybe say, is there something I can help you with? You know, can I carry anything for you? Not why are you using that? Having trouble? Is your leg hurting? Come on. No, I, I, I use this cane because it looks good with my outfit. I mean, really, I'm 60. I shouldn't have to be using a cane. I shouldn't have to be. But yet, people look at you like you, you should be just fine. You look fine. So, what's your problem? Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I was just, see, I have problems too. We all have problems. <laughs> we all have issues. We all have things that hurt us. Um, I forgive her for what she said and how she made me feel. I do forgive her for that because I don't think she did it on purpose. But um, she just needs to be a nicer person <laughs> and uh, maybe care mo more for people and their situations. Anyway, um, you guys. I have had such a great time with you all. I really have. And I love every one of you. I do. And I, I wish that, you know, if we could all meet at a park and have one heck of a great barbecue and get to know everybody and have a great time and throw some horseshoes and what a great time that would be and get to know everybody, right? <laughs> and I know that we can't do that. I mean, we're from all over the the place here. I'm in Oregon. I would love to know where all you guys are from. Please put in the comments where you're from. I would love to know. So, um, one thing I am going to do, you're welcome to stay, and I would love for you to stay, but I am going to say a prayer for all of you, and uh, if you choose not to stay, thank you so much anyway for joining me. I do appreciate it, and please come back, okay? I do love you. All right, and so uh, for those that are staying, if you'll take a moment and go ahead and bow your heads. Heavenly Father, Lord, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for the gifts that you've given to all, to all of us. And all the gifts are different. Lord, from, from singing, from painting, from, from teaching, uh, teaching is a gift everything that you can provide that, that we can provide to others to show the love that you have given that you placed in us you have told us to love others you know and lord thank you and thank you for all these people and you know what their issues are you know what their problems are you know what their pains are lord i just ask that you you hear their prayers and bless them and, and lay your hand upon them, Lord. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for my grandchildren and, and thank you for thank you for Jesus. Thank you so much for your son that died on the cross for us. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you. I do. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.